Welcome to example program. In this video, we will see how we can write a Python program to display the calendar of a specific month of a specific year. Here, the year and the month value will be entered by the user and depending on the user input, we will display the calendar. So the first thing that we do here is we will import the calendar module. So I'm going to write import calendar. And the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to ask the user to enter the year and month. So I'm going to use the input function here and I'm going to specify the message here as enter the year. And after seeing this, the user will enter the year and this input function will return that in string form. But we want that in integer form. So we're going to convert that to integer form and we will store that in a variable and let's call it as year. Okay. Similarly, we need to read the month from the user. So we're going to use the input function and we're going to specify the message as enter the month and uh, we will convert the user input to integer type from string type. Okay. Now we have the month and the year for which the user wants to see the calendar. So we can display the calendar now. So first what we have to do is we have to specify the calendar module that is the uh, module name here calendar and then we're going to call in a function called as month and for this function we have to pass in um, the year and month for which we want the calendar. So we're going to say the year for which we want the calendar is present in the year variable and the month value is also present in the month variable. So we're going to specify that here and this month function will return the calendar for the year and the month that we have specified and we will store that return value in another variable and let's call it as my cal for my calendar. You guys can give any name and the last thing that we do is we will print that um, calendar. So that value will be present in this my cal and we will print that by using the print function. Okay, now we have written the program. Let's run this. Enter the year. I'm going to say 2019. Enter the month. I'm going to say 2 February. And you guys can see the calendar of uh, February 2019. Now here, if you look at this calendar, then the first day of the week starts from Monday. If you want to change that to any other day, like Sunday, then uh, you can do that by uh, adding a line here that will be calendar dot set first weekday and here you need to specify calendar dot whichever day you want. I'm going to specify Sunday here and I'm going to run it. Now I'm going to specify the year as 2019 month as two. And now if you look at this calendar, the week in this calendar is starting from Sunday. Previously, it was uh, starting from Monday. Now, the next thing that I want to show here is if you want to display the calendar for an entire year, then you can do that. And for that, you just have to call another um, function. So I'm going to comment this code in order to display the calendar for all the months of a year. We don't need the month value. So I'm going to comment that one also here. We're going to write in my cal that's the variable name where we're going to be storing the calendar of the entire year and the function that we have to call is first we have to write the model name which is calendar and the function name is calendar calendar dot calendar and we have to specify the year here okay i just made a spelling mistake with this variable let's make it as my cal okay now let's run this enter the year I'm going to say 2019 and you guys can see the month here I think you guys can see January February March but we have uh, you know uh, the calendar of all the months displayed in here so this is it guys this is how you guys can display the calendar of a specific month of a specific year uh, in Python programming language if you like this video then hit the like button if you don't like it then hit the dislike button if you want to say something then uh, write that in the comment box for more tutorials like this, do subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching.